Hello everybody and welcome to tonight's presentation of Suburban One Liberty Division uh, bas Girls Basketball, Varsity Girls Basketball. I'm Brian Portney alongside Zachariah Holman. And uh, it's a uh, great night, it's a cold night, but inside it's just heating up. That's the 6-0 uh, Plymouth White Marsh Colonials on the eyes of a six game winning streak travel to face your three and four Upper Dublin Lady Cardinals. Yeah, something interesting to know before this game starts is that um, on January 4th, Plymouth White Marsh beat Upper Dublin 52 to 21. So Upper Dublin coming in this game definitely comes in as the underdog, but that should make it all the more interesting to watch for us. So it's Colleen Clammer and Laney Allen on for the tip off. And we're off. Plymouth White Marsh wins the tip off. And we are ready to go. Flanagan with the ball. Moving up the court. Finds Thomas. Over to Daly. Daly to Sharp. Sharp to Flanagan. Flanagan back to Sharp. And over to Daly. Daly to Flanagan. And we got a passing match here. It's uh, Sharp again. Sharp to Flanagan. Flanagan to Daly. And the pass goes out of bounds, and I don't really agree with that call, do you? Uh, yeah, I think I might have seen a tip ball there. I'm not really sure, though. From It's not a very good angle from where we're at. Uh, um, anyway, we've seen a lot of ball movement from the Colonials. Let's see if they continue to do this. Here's uh, Flanagan. Flanagan over to Daly. Daly to Flanagan. Thomas going in the lane. Layup is no good. Rebounded by Allen. And uh, there's Sharp uh, with the putback. And there's Bluth running with the inbound. Uh, that was some great fight shown by the Colonials. It looks like they recovered the ball here. And, and up 2 nothing, and it's a jump ball. And it's going to stay PW's way. So that is Gina Sarnowski on the foul. Flanagan to inbound. And here's Allen, and she got the uh, layup, and it's 4 nothing. Trying to find some offense here is Upper Dublin. And it's another contested ball, but here's Foster on the move. Foster finds Brenner. Brenner looking for a lane. Goes for a shot up, and it is no good. Off the lane, rebounded by Flanagan going the other way. Pretty good possession from Upper Dublin there. Um, they got an open shot, which is definitely what they wanted. Um, Here's Flanagan for three. No good. Rebounded by Amy No for Upper Dublin. And we're going back with it now. Finds Brenner. Brenner moving up the court. She's solidified herself as the point guard on this team. Primary ball handler. Here's Gina Sarnowski. Going to take it to the corner. Needing to find someone here. Got by Flanagan. She turns back, goes up, and the layup is good. So Upper Dublin's got their first two points of the game. It's 4-2 PW. It's a very good play from Sarnowski. We love to see the aggression early in the game. And here's Jordan Thomas. Thomas to Sharp. Sharp to Flanagan. Flanagan for three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Sharp, taking the, other, take, taking the same way. Here's Flanagan. And it's been a passing match when... Colonials have had the ball so far in this one. Just holding on to the ball. Running out the clock, shall you say. Here's Flanagan with an open shot. Going to give it to Thomas. Thomas to Sharp. Sharp for a contested two. Mid-range, Jay is good. So it's 6-2 for Dublin. They need to go find some offense to start this one. Brenner finds Sarnowski on the inbound pass. And another contested pass there, but... Rebounded by No. Amy No drive up the court. And she's going for the drive. The layup and it is no good. Rebounded by Flanagan. And they're going to go back in it. PW having the ball for most of the game so far. Here's Daly. Daly to Flanagan. And that is a nice throw over to... Oh! That is uh, Abby Sharp. As she falls and she gets the three to go with it, 9-2. Here's Amy No, No to Clammer. 
The shot is no good from three. Rebounded by Foster. And uh, <laughs> pass over to Sharp. Here's PW on the move. Flanagan with the ball now. Flanagan to Sharp. And it's a foul on the pass from Daly. And pass to Daly from Amy Nell. Elena Sanders goes into the game for the starter, sophomore uh, Foster. Already we're seeing a lot of great shots from PW. And It'll be interesting to see if they can continue this good shooting because the way it is Thomas. right now, it's Thomas very difficult for to uh, Daly. She's going to drive into the lane. I think that is that should be an offensive charge by all sets of means. Uh, but instead, they get a uh, foul. And here's Daly to the line for two. Miss shot. And it was a two shot foul, so I'm gonna bring it up once more. See what happens here. I really wanna make some noise, but I can't make a lot of noise since I'm the play by play. Here we go. The second shot, Aaron Daly. It's up and it is good. So PW is the first to crack double digits. Upper Dublin still at two. PW's playing a lot of press here. Um, they're, they've been they've basically been guarding the, guarding Upper Dublin since the ball was inbounded. Zarnowski gets it to Brunner, and that that has to be a clear foul, and it is. It seems like it's been Upper Dublin versus the refs so far, but it's good to have that kind of a call there. And uh, here's Bliss Brenner with the inbounder. She finds Zarnowski. Zarnowski to know. No for three, and it is no good. Rebounded by Sanders. Gets the ball taken away from her, and they're going on to move to the other side. Kate Flanagan with the ball for PW. And Dunarante in the game for PW. Here's Sharp for three, and it is no good. Hit as she fell again. And it was clearly still in bounds and you can hear Morgan Funston's frustration and uh, they're saying it's going to stay with PW here the Daly on the inbound Sharp over to Daly three pointers good and it's 13 to 2 need to find some offense here to start it's been a very rocky start for Upper Dublin now they got the lane the open lane And we're back, Bliss Brenner taking the inbound. There's a timeout called by Morgan Funston. There's Bliss Brenner on the inbound. A little, little scuffle between coach and ref. Yeah. It's just hard to see that. We're trying to cut to, uh, can't cut to commercial, we don't got any commercials. <laughs> Here's uh, Amy No. Ball goes off on, ball went off on red, I will assure you, but they're going to say it, it went off on white, so, yeah. And it's red ball. Very rocky start for Upper Dublin. And Daly. Daly to Flanagan. Takes a mid-range J, and it's good. So it's 15-2. to two. Upper Dublin trying to move up tempo here. Try to speed it up a little bit. 
Flammer to Sarnowski on the drive. The layup is no good. Rebounded by PW. And we're back here again. Flanagan to Sharp. Sharp to uh, Daly. And we got a passing match over here. It's Gunarante, senior with the ball now. Or Gunarante, but I'm not going to pronounce it like that. Here's Sharp from NBA range, and it's no good. Rebounded by Amy No. <clears throat> Maybe this time they'll get some offense going. Here's No. No to Sarnowski. Sarnowski to Clammer. Clammer to Brenner for three. No good. Rebounded by uh, Sanders. Over to No. Amy No with the ball now. Over to Sanders. Clammer trying to set up a screen. And it's going the other way. That's Aaron Daly with the two. And it's 17 to two. Very rocky start for Upper Dublin, indeed. And here's Upper Dublin with it now. I got it to Sanders. Sanders getting heavily contested. And that is going to be a foul, I believe. And that's the fouls on Laney Allen, the leading scorer for PW. 13.8 points per game through six games. Pretty uh, impressive. Also impressive considering that they have multiple double-digit um, average scores. Here's Amy No. No with it now for Upper Dublin. Over to Foster. Foster in the corner. They're going to have to uh, let it go. And they're going to call it a backcourt violation. And those are the exact kind of turnovers that Upper Dublin does not want to see this game. PW has played some very mistake-free basketball so far. Um, and they're also shooting the ball really well, which has really proved to be a dangerous weapon so far. They're all shooters out there. So here's Flanagan with the ball now for... Uh, PW. She might just run out the clock here, but I would say that she tries to get some scoring on the board. Come on. This is. Come on. Just score already. Score already. Come on. Save us the agony. Ooh, almost stolen by Foster. Playing again with the shot. No good. Rebounded by Jordan Thomas. And the ball is going to stay their way. Worst call I've seen in a while. You can't necessarily blame it on the refs for this game. If we do lose, game's early yet. That's what I can say. Gunnarant to, to Flanagan. Flanagan for the mid range J. No good. Rebounded by Allen. Allen to Bowser. And uh, she can't get the shot off. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. Score is PW 17. And your Upper Dublin Cardinals. Two. Stay tuned. And we're back to start the second quarter here in the nest. Upper Dublin hoping to shake off a rocky start down 17 to two. It is going to be Upper Dublin ball. To start the second quarter, Bliss Brunner to inbound, likely to pass to Amy No. Amy No has been kind of a standout sophomore. She was a standout freshman, started as a freshman, kind of the, what I like to call the Chris Colebrunner of, um, Upper Dublin girls basketball. 
because she stepped into the role as a freshman and she did very well, led her team to the playoffs. Here's Foster with the two, no good. Rebounded by PW. A traveling sure violation the call. call is on, but I'll, I'll gladly take it. Yeah, we'll definitely take that, especially being down early in the game. And here we have Bliss Brown to inbound once again. Here we go, Bliss Brenner on the inbound pass. Sarnoski, nose wide open and she gets the ball. Here's Sarnoski. Sarnoski to know. And uh, they need to do something here. Fakes the shot, goes to Clamor. Clamor over to know. They gotta get something off here. Over to Brenner. Brenner gonna dribble it out. Here's no. No to Clamor. Clamor to Brenner. Over to Foster. Foster to no. And the three ball is no good. Rebounded by Upper Dublin on the ground. And it's a travel call. I wouldn't call it a travel call. Sorry. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't call that a travel. I don't I didn't see it there. Well, I mean, I don't really know how much of a travel what, what constitutes a travel in that situation. Yeah, I agree. Playing again with the ball now for PW. No points scored in the second quarter with about one minute and a quarter of the quarter already into it. Thomas gets contested and a Double dribble or a travel right there. Here's Brenner with the inbound pass to Sarnoski. Running out of room. And finds Brenner again. Brenner to no. No. He's going to drive it into the lane. Then get contested. And the layup is no good. Rebounded by PW once again. Here's Sharp. Sharp to Flanagan. And a softball pass over to... Daly steps out of bounds and it's up for Dublin ball. Definitely very good one right there. Brenner on the inbound pass. Brenner to no. Running out of room. Finds Clamor. Clamor to Foster. And driving into the lane in an atrocious call because they don't want us to score. Yeah, it's fascinating how many traveling calls we've seen so far. I think that may be the fourth or fifth one. Is that right, Brian? Yeah, I, I got no idea why they have us racking up all these many travel calls when I do not see a step taken without a dribble. And here's Daly in the corner over to Sharp. Flanagan wide open, and she finds her. Back to Sharp. And fakes out the three. Mid-range J, no good, and rebounded by Thomas. Thomas with the putback, and it's good. So it's 19 to two. And the scoreboard is updated. Joey Kleiman is entering the game from the bench. And there's Sarnowski off the inbound from Brenner. Over to Foster, gonna drive into the lane and gets blocked. And there's a foul. It's a great drive from Foster. Um, and so we were expecting to see a lot more so far, uh, driving the ball and fouls being called because that's definitely what Upper Dublin wants right now. And we got two at the line here, a D.D. Foster. For the first shot, no good. Hopefully we can get the second shot up and in. Here we go. It's up and it's good. So 19 to three, they got their third point of the game off the uh, second made shot, I guess you would call it. And here's Sharp, Sharp to Thomas. Thomas to Daly, Daly for three and it is a swish. 
22 to 3. Ouch. Yeah, I feel like it was just a matter of time before we'd see one of those in the second quarter. Um, it's the first three of the quarter, but um, as they, but we're not surprised to see that, especially since they hit three or four of those in the first quarter. And I saw them in warm-ups. They were just hitting threes like that. So, I mean, it comes as no surprise, but you got to guard more. You know, here's Brenner with the ball now. Looking to go into the lane. Finds climbing, climbing for three. No good. Off the backboard. Rebounded by Flanagan for PW. Here's Allen. Allen to Sharp. Sharp to Daly. Daly back to Sharp. Foul on Upper Dublin. Tolly Klammer goes into the game for Julie Kleiman. As their short stint is over after a after a missed uh, three ball. But I guess you could say she made a lot of her time in the little amount of time that she had. But it's likely we'll see her again. Well, with how the score is going. Here's Sharp. Sharp to Daly. Daly to Thomas. Thomas to Allen, the two seniors. No good. Thomas with the putback. No good. And it's rebounded by Upper Dublin going the other way. I almost said the wrong way. No, it's the right way. Here's Amy No. No over to Sarnoski. Sarnoski to Klamer. Klamer to No. They need to find some offense and fast. They want to get back in this game. It's just whisping away from them. Klamer to Brenner. Brenner to No. She's going to take a shot, and it's good. Swish, baby. What a shot from Amy No, and that's a great, great shot to give the Cardinals back momentum. Let's we'll see how they can respond. And they've gotten a, uh, yeah, they've gotten a score of every kind: free throw, two ball, and a three ball. And that, that was, uh, that was from distance. That's like a Damian Lillard three or something like that. Ball yes, definitely away. Damian Lillard range. Here's Amy No on the other side for three again. Gets blocked and a foul. There we go. And I think that's going to be three. Three at the line for Amy No. We're getting some positive momentum. Definitely. Uh, three free throws at the line is definitely a great opportunity for us to score some points. That's the second foul for Laney Allen, PW's leading scorer. First shot goes in and out. No good. They got a shot to make this a 14-point game with both. If they make both. And it starts with that one. So it's 22 to 7. Second shot is up and it's in. So it is a 14 point game. Score the last five. I think they're on a 5 0 run in what, the last two minutes? Good job. They keep at this pace, it'll be close by halftime. Here's Flanagan moving the ball now over to Daly. Daly to Sharp. Tries to figure out. It's Thomas. Thomas to Flanagan, Flanagan to Sharp for the mid-range, and it is good. So putting some points back and erasing that, uh, uh, not deficit, but less of a lead. And here's Bliss Brunner. On from the inbound. Going in, trying to find somebody. And goes to no, and the ball goes out of bounds. Unfortunate. Want to say something? Keep going, Brian. I mean, you're the color commentator. It's kind of like a, a co codependence. That's true. Here's Sharp. And there's a, a foul. Travel call, maybe. And was not called. And they got, uh, not sure what it is. It's going to be an inbounder. <laughs> Looks like it was a foul on the ground. And here's uh, Allen with the two, and it is good. Here's Sarnowski running out of room. It's a smart timeout called by Coach Funson there. Um, 
Tarnowski was definitely called. trapped there. And we're going to take one, too. We will be right back. And we are back. 26 to 8. Upper Dublin yet to crack double digits. It was an underwhelming first quarter. Second quarter got a little bit better. I have six points on the board this quarter. Just hoping to shift the momentum. Because it was a crazy fast start for PW. And there's a laser pass to Foster. Foster to know. Over Brunner. Brunner to Sarnowski for the uh, easy layup. And I, I just think, and, and it's no good. I, I just think, you know, they're much more physical. They're bigger, they're stronger, and, and they're using a physical element to, uh, you know, beat us when it matters. XBW is definitely a third physical dominance so far with. Um, Here's Sarnowski. Yes. No good. Prevented by PW. 34, both playing on the court at the same time. Definitely gives them a huge um, height advantage. And they've certainly been taking advantage so far. And you are right. Allen and Lenny Allen and Jordan Thomas, uh, two seniors dynamic duo, has been very well contributing to six, their 6 0 record so far to start the year. Oh, all right. Here we go. Daily to uh, Allen. Shot is no good. They use the physical nature, physical element to get that two ball in there. And it's 28 to 8 with an and one. Unfortunate for Upper Dublin. What a great play from Allen to pull down that board and then put it right back up. Your PW, that's definitely what you love to see. There's a reason why she is the leading scorer with 13.8 points per game in for PW. And the uh, free throw by Allen, no good. Rebounded by Upper Dublin. Going on the way with no. <clears throat> Amy, no. Over to Brenner. Brenner, no. And over back to Brenner. Sarnowski in the corner for three, and it's good! There we go! And they cracked double digits. It's 28 to 11. And we got about 15 seconds left. Probably the last uh, possession here. Sharp. And it's intercepted. Going on away. It's Aditi Foster. And the layup is good. And that's going to end the half. That's going to end the second half on a bang. 28 to 13. Upper Dublin trails. But maybe happen, happy trails ahead. Own team. We'll be right back after halftime. As my good friend would say, get your popcorn, all that other stuff. We'll be right back.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to the halftime show, Impromptu. This is like our first time ever doing the uh, halftime show. So, what would you think of that first half? Well, PW showed a lot of domination early on, but then Upper Dublin had some very has some very good momentum going into the second half as we hit a three-pointer and then had a lay-in from a D.D. Foster as time was running out. Um, and those were the last plays we saw in the first half. So, Upper Dublin should definitely feel good about what they have going in the third quarter. So, uh, what are some keys to the game going on for, for um, the rest? Keys to the game are for Upper Dublin to not allow open shots. PW shooting has been very good this game so far. And um, also, Upper Dublin needs to figure out a way to stop, um, let's see, Jordan Thomas and Laney Allen on PW, who are both um, who are two, probably the two tallest players out there most of the time. So um, if they can get grab rebounds, hit some shots, I think we'll be back in this game. Right yeah, this game. yeah, I, I agree. Uh, and some other uh, things around the uh, school. Good news, everybody. Midterms are done. They're canceled. It's amazing. I can't. That's good. It. So, um, and uh, really, that's all the news needed. It's be a snow day tomorrow. Uh, I I sure hope. I got a test tomorrow, I know, or I got yeah, a quiz tomorrow. Same. Yeah, I was prepping for that. This this is gonna be the last uh, school day, at least in person for a while. Yeah, true. And that's all for our halftime recap. We'll see you. In the second half. We'll see you in the second half. That that's that's that. I'm Brian Portney and Zachariah Holman, and we'll be back for the start of the second half, which is in like 15 seconds. That was not bad. <laughs> And we are back for the start of the second half. Thanks for uh, tuning into the halftime show, trying to keep you entertained while I went to the bathroom, had some pop popcorn. You know, halftime. And there's Sharp for the layup. 3W, and it's good. So it's 30 to, 30 to 13. Not a lot of momentum, but it's early yet in the second half. Here's Sarnowski on the drive. Goes to Klamer. Klamer with an open lane. Three ball, no good, rebounded by Upper Dublin, uh, PW. Picked up by him after a little bit contested. The good news for that possession is that is definitely the shot that Upper Dublin wanted, a wide open three pointer. Fortunately, couldn't convert there, but I think if Upper Dublin could get more good shot opportunities like that, we could definitely get right back in this game. It's for uh, yeah, future reference, you know. And uh, seems as if Upper Dublin's got the ball back, so that that's good. And here's Bliss Brenner for the inbound. I think, I, I believe I said she was the, uh, has solidified herself as the point guard of the team. Yeah. Taking all the inbounds, definitely, yeah. And uh, there's an exchange. Here's Sarnowski goes up for the two ball, no good. Rebounded by PW. That's not the type of shot that we want. Yeah, that's not the open look like they got last possession, and it wasn't a good angle either. And uh, here's Sharp up with it now. Mid-range jumper, no good. Rebounded oh. by Upper Dublin. And it goes to PW. And it's going to go Upper Dublin's way, so I don't know why PW was clapping. Well, Brenner had the ball in her hands, but then dropped it, but... Fortunately, we have the possession back. Figured it was some foreshadowing that something's going to happen. Here's Klamer, and she gets blocked and fouled. Great, play, great fake from Klamer there. And then that was a very strong drive, and he got the foul. Great play from her. Using uh, physical dominance there, but a little too much. And there's a foul. One or two at the line here for Colleen Klamer. First shot goes up, and it is no good. Clanks off the rim. 30-13, PW with the lead. Second shot, no good. 
kind of an unconventional shooting form. But who am I to judge? I can't make a basket off either of these. In fact, I can't hit the side of a barn uh, of either of these baskets. Here's Lady Allen, contested shot. Rebounded by Upper Dublin. And going back now with uh, Sonoski. Sonoski over to Brenner. Taking the ball now at the point. Finds Klamer the football pass, and it is good. <laughs> and layup is good. So it's 30 to 15. Uh, excuse me, I'm still in football mode. I, I am a football player. Brian Portney, number 29 on red, 39 on white. Uh, kicker, punter. Yeah. And uh, here's PW with the ball now. Laney Allen. Contested. And they're going to get the ball back. Here's some positive momentum. That was a great trap from Upper Dublin. That's exactly what we need on defense. Three players all surrounding, um, all surrounding Allen there. And here it looks like we have a foul called on PW. Yeah, they, they were double, triple teaming Allen right there. And they get the ball back. Upper Dublin stays with the ball, retains possession. That's a long pass over to No. Now they're getting it settled. Slowing down the possession. Slowing it down is good for offensive efficiency, but we need points now. Flop by Sarnowski. Here's Brenner. Brenner over to Foster. Foster to Sarnowski. And she does the James Harden step back. Three no good. Rebounded. By PW goes Upper Dublin's way. There we go. Just thinking of what it, what it was there. But yeah, that, that was James Harden's step back. A little yeah. diagonal step. Yeah. Plus Brenner with the inbound pass. Finds Foster. Foster to Sarnowski. Sarnowski to Klamer. Klamer going inwards. Over to Sarnowski again. Finds Foster. Foster over to Klamer. Klamer needing to find somebody here. And does. Foster, Foster to know. Well, hasn't gotten the ball this much, this possession. I think it was her first touch this possession. And the three ball is good. I was trailing off a little bit there, but swish. And it is a 12 point game. What a shot by Amy No. The Carlos has some great ball movement there, and it's great to see possession end with a three ball like that. It would be amazing if they got the comeback here. I would love it. But I, I don't know how late it is in the game right now. I think CJ would be very jealous of us that we got to commentate this game if this happens. Absolutely. It would be the best commentating game of my life. Two ball no good for PW. Up, upper double and rebounds. Here's Amy No on the drive. Needs to find somebody here. He's got Brenner. Brenner on the point. And there's a foul. And that's so hate to do things. Yeah. I think it was a reach-in foul by, uh, yeah, Kate Flanagan. Haven't been calling her name a lot. Again, I think she got subbed out sometime, and I just forgot about it. Flanagan got a little bit too aggressive there. And now Amy No with the ball. Here's Amy No. No to Brenner. Brenner might have to take this one or so. And here's Foster. Foster gets blocked. But the ball goes off red. Stays upper Dublin. Stays upper Dublin. We retain possession. Amy No with the inbounder here. They need to find somebody open. If you can't find anybody, suggest you just you know, throw it inbounds. And there's a foul, and that's going to be two. What a great pass from Bliss Brenner there to set up free throws for Colin Clammer. Off the backboard. That could have been uh, th uh, and one, but it is what it is. I think PW is starting to get a bit sloppy with the uh, whole physical dominance here. And the, uh, I was going to say extra point, 
free throw is good. Still in football mode. Just claim her again. No good. And uh, here we go. Here's Kate Flanagan with the ball. Flanagan taking it. Finds Taylor and she gets the two. What a great pass. That's just something that's hard for the Cardinals to defend. And it's a 13 point game now. Here's Colin Klammer with an open lane. Finds Sarnoski from long range and it's good. Swish, baby. She's having a Steph Curry-like game right now. And we see our small student section going absolutely wild with that shot. That's Channeling her seen. inner Steph Curry right there. That has to have been a walk. But no call there. It's 34-22 after the good two. So uh, I just got news that everybody, every student who's watching this, good news. School's closed tomorrow because of snow. Thank God. You know, right? I, or thank, thank snow or whatever, science, whatever. Whatever you believe in. I, I, I won't tell you what to do. Here's the Avery Now. Tries to throw up oh, a miracle shot. Layup. It's good. It's good. What a move by Amy No. Going back on defense now. Here's Kate Flanagan. Flanagan for PW. Does a spin around. Flanagan finds Sharp. Sharp back to Flanagan. And finds Gennady. Gennady. Uh, Gunnarante. And it's no good. Shot's no good. It's Fiona Gunnarante. Uh, and her sister, uh, Rihanna Gunnarante, is also on the team. And we got a foul call. There we go. Let's go. This could become a single digit game. DD Foster to the line for two. And the free throw is good. I was about to say extra point again. I'm also a kicker, so I hear extra point a lot. And yeah. You know, and uh, second free throw. It's up, and it is no good. Rebounded by PW, and they're going to let it go. Playing it with the ball now. It's at least a, a single-digit game now, a nine-point lead. For PW, who's led the entire way through. Flanagan looking to just run out the clock. She's trying to dribble off the clock with 55 seconds left. I guess you kind of can't blame her though, since there's no shot clock in high school basketball. Yeah, they need to get some defense. Oh, have I told you? that uh, there was once a, an Oregon State Championship girls basketball game that ended in two to nothing. Wow, what a boring game for the parents to watch. Wow, what a boring game for the commentators to call as well. You gotta, you gotta think. They were probably talking about golf or what they're having for dinner or something. Probably. I, I would be too if I were in that situation. And yeah. I guess we're, talking, we're doing that now. And now it's a timeout call. Should have been a while ago. And... Uh, 8.5 seconds left in the third quarter. We will take a timeout as well. We'll be right back. And we are back. Now, uh, it's uh, Aaron Daly coming in now for the inbound pass. Over to Jordan Thomas. Playing heavier defense. Sarnowski on her. And Beauty Ball 
But uh, that's going to be the end of the third quarter. It's 34 to 25. Don't go anywhere. Don't change the channel. I mean, it, it's YouTube. You can't change the channel. But you know what I mean. We'll be right back. And we are back here to start the fourth quarter. What have you thought about the uh, third quarter in specific? Well, I think if it, it, Upper Dublin gained a lot of momentum that third quarter. Um, our small student second started to perk up. Um, we saw a lot of we saw a lot of three balls from Upper Dublin that quarter, um, which is a great thing to see after they hadn't really been dropping the first in the first half. And we also saw some great defense. Aaron Daly on the inbound. Over to Thomas, Thomas to Flanagan, and it looks like she will be on another uh, dribbling run. So let's talk about uh, what, what do you have for dinner tonight? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so what do you have for dinner tonight? Or what are well, you planning to have? Tonight for dinner, I had soup. Me too. And, and a nice. hot dog from the snack stand. Yeah. And, and a Sprite that I had to Sprite. get. It's pretty good. Drink fast. Um, I mean, soup on a hot so soup on a cold night like this definitely tastes good. I mean, I even like soup on a hot day. Everybody tells That's me true. you really having soup on a hot day? Yeah, cause it tastes good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, Flanagan's still dribbling. Um, Amy Noah's. It's covering a her, it's a staring it's, uh, match. Very intense staring match right yeah. now. Going on. They, they've held on to the ball for at least one minute. I, if I were them, I would just go in and charge. I don't even care. I think they do definitely want to go in and charge at some point soon. Because they need to make up nine points this quarter. So, Upper Double needs to start doing something on defense. Yeah. Uh, move the muscle, yeah. Charge! You got any New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution is to be on to be on time for school every day if possible. My yeah. homeroom teacher does not uh, mark me tardy very often, but to be on time for school every day would definitely be nice. And I mean, I'm that's my that that's my plan. Time. Yeah, I, I'm trying to do like uh, you know. Stay, stay for the boss every day. And uh, now we got a foul call. I mean, I try not to miss the bus, but, you know, the bus is kind of like bipolar. It wants to go 724 one day, 726 one day. Yeah. And I'm just trying to get there early, you know? So now they're going to start playing some actual offense. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, they got a corner oh. three attempt, but There's you got to go mid range J. No good. By Sharp, and now Upper Dublin's got the ball. They can't stop us now. Brenner over to Clamor. They're going to need to find somebody here. Everybody's contesting. Everybody's contesting. Here's Brenner. Over to No. And now. Here's Clamor. PW playing some tight defense now. Here's Cernoski. Cernoski hoping to do something on offense. Oh, triple move. No good. Rebounded by Upper Dublin going the other way. Unfortunate. Yeah. That's unfortunate. That was a great move by Cernoski, but unfortunately it was last touched by Upper Dublin 4 going out of bounds. 
And here we go now with uh, Kate Flanagan, number five, for PW getting the ball back. I feel like PW is beating us in every single sport. And, uh, oh, there's a layup right there. That's good. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a part of the football team. I'm still very hurt from that 42-36 overtime loss. It was absolutely crushing. What a game. Yeah. But that was an amazing game. Man, I, I, it was fun until it wasn't. And, yeah, it was just very emotional, you know. Rebounded by PW after the uh, missed layup attempt. <clears throat> I think I know what their plan is. Run out the clock. It'd be any team's plan. I would just try and run the score, you know. Because I'm that type of... I, I mean, it depends. As a basketball coach or a football coach or a coach of any sport, I want to sit our starters. There's a foul. Well, I think especially now that they're, they've gone their lead back to double digits... 11 points, I think they, that's definitely what, what's on their minds right now, running out the clock if they can. Yeah, I, I want to sit our starters, slow down the pace, do whatever we can to limit the bleeding. And here's Thomas for two shots. First one goes in and it's 37 to 25. Foster dropping back for a coach's conversation. We'll keep our eye on the free throw. And it's no good. But it goes in for the putback. And that's good. Aaron Daly on the two. And it's 39-25. to 25, A two-touchdown lead by PW. Two-touchdown lead it is. I'm starting to think this game is slipping away from us. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah. But these girls played very hard tonight. Oh, and yeah. they scored more Definitely. than last time. Which was 21. And they're, they're on pace, hopefully. To do better defensively also than when they lost 52-21. It's hard to make up 13 points in three and a half minutes unless you got some, unless you're scoring at some ungodly rate. You know, there were a couple of high-scoring, fast-paced teams. The fun and gun offense, the 90s, in the 90s, Loyola Marymount experimented with that. There's game Troy State versus De DeVry in the 1990s. And that was pretty fun. It was 258 to 141. Troy State won that game in a blowout. It was fun to watch. Yeah. I believe there's a foul call. Amy No once again on the foul call. Third team foul, and it's all she has all the fouls. Unfortunately. Daly on the inbound. Over to over to Flanagan. Sorry about that. Flanagan to Daly, Daly back to um, Allen, Allen. <laughs> and it's a passing match here. Flanagan left wide open. Here's Sharp. Sharp to Flanagan, Flanagan to Allen. Allen to Daly for three, and that's his swish. And, and, and one. she threw. And one, two. Oh, wow. A four point play. Heartbreaker. 42 to 25, Aaron Daly goes for Janina Sardoski, her first foul, I believe, of the half. I you know, second second foul total. Fourth team foul. <clears throat> so they will not be going to the line. Instead, it's just another inbound. It looks like they called it on the ground mm -hmm. because it was after the shot. Something you don't see very often. Yep, we do not see that a lot. Daly over to Allen. Allen back to Daly. Going inside. Daly going in. Finds Thomas for three, and it's good. Man, I just had a sixth sense that that was going to be in. Kind of a spidey sense. And we got a timeout call by Morgan Funston. Upper level and trails, 45 to 25. I'm going to need that water bottle. We'll be right back.
And we are back. Back here with 213 left in the fourth quarter. I was going to say second quarter. <laughs> and we're just having fun at this point. 45-25. After Upper GW's Dublin hit some ball. huge shots in the last couple minutes. Been heartbreakers. De deal breaks is true. I agree. It, it's just been kind of tough tonight. They have been doing better. No, no, I agree. Upper Dublin definitely played a great third quarter. And also at the end of the second quarter, they also had some very good plays. But They'll learn from this game. Clamor for three, and it's good. Swish, baby. 45-28, we got a football score here. And we got a timeout call. We will be right back. It's a one-minute timeout. We'll be And we are back. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Left in the game. Been a good fight by Upper Dublin, but it looks like it just won't be enough. Thomas is out of bounds. Thomas is out of bounds. Sorry about that. Right there. <clears throat> Blue Sprinter with the inbound. <clears throat> Here's no. No over to Claimer. Claimer back to no. They need to find somebody here. Brenner's wide open. She goes to Claimer. Claimer to Brenner. Brenner goes to Foster. Yeah, I share a, 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 a study hall with uh, Blues Brenner. We are in the wow. we, uh, study hall was in the auditorium today. And that is yeah. a long pass. No good. Yeah, PW I, ball. I, I had one of those study halls in the auditorium yesterday. Um, as a lot of teachers are out right now. There's yeah. A lot of they should just call it. I mean, yeah. they need to call virtual. Definitely. They're probably going to shut up. They're probably going to cut off our stream. But I don't care. We're having fun. And they got a two and they got an and one. So it's 47-28. Forget about crunch time. This is garbage time. Whether it was crunch time or garbage time, it has been a pleasure doing this broadcast. Oh, for sure. Hope we and Brian get another opportunity coming up soon. Yeah, maybe. To the line. Uh, one of the line for Allen, and it's no good. How many points do you think Allen has at this point? I have not kept track. You think it'd be like in the 10 to 15 range? 10 to 15 Probably. range, maybe even 15 to 20 range, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah. That was a nice crisp pass. That was. Brenner over to Foster going in. In the way, no good. And they're probably just going to hold it for the last 50 some seconds. Going to try avoid getting, to avoid getting fouled. I don't know what the point is of fouling at this point. You're down 19, but any effort counts to make the score look respectable. I think if anything, Upper Dublin wants another offensive possession at this point instead of just letting PW hold the ball for the rest of the game. Exactly the case. So that's probably why they fouled. But you're just, you're just Flanagan. Unfortunately, it's not a. They don't go to the line. So over to PW Thomas, back to Flanagan. Flanagan over to Daly. A little bit of an errant pass, but caught by Allen. Back to Daly. And I think we're just going to let this final couple seconds wind down. So, fun fact. A, ra a, a group of penguins on land is called a raft. Or, group of penguins in the ocean is called a raft. But on land, it's called 
Uh, Waddle. Really? Fun fact of the day. Yeah. And not ocean, but water. And that's going to be the end of it. Our final score, Plymouth White Marsh 47. Our Abu Cardinals, Lady Cardinals 28. It has been a pleasure working with you tonight. And I really hope we get to do this sometime soon. But, I mean, you know, it's just, it's just it was just a tough game. You know? It was. Yes, PW's a very, very tough team. And, yeah. All right. But we fought hard. Yeah, Definitely can I cut hard. you off now? Sorry. Uh, that's going to do it. That's all. I'm Brian Portney. Zach, Zach Ryan Holmes. And uh, thank, uh, special thanks to my dad, Kevin Portney, and everybody who made this stream possible, Mr. Squarey and Mr. Shannis. Thank you all, and we shall see you next time.